Hello and welcome to this video on finding generating functions using the technique differencing. I'll give you two examples. The first one here, I want to find the generating function for the sequence 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, 23, and so on. Now when I'm trying to understand the sequence, one thing I might check is, to, uh, is the difference between terms. So the difference between 3 and 7 is 4, the difference between 7 and 11 is 4, the difference between 11 and 15 is 4, the difference is constant. If I know something about the sequence of differences, I can usually use that to find the generating function for the original sequence. To do this, I'm just going to call my generating function that I don't know about yet, a. And if I write out a as a generating series, that is a, an infinite power series, it must be 3 plus 7x plus 11x squared plus 15 x cubed, and so on. Now I want to be able to take the difference between terms. So I want to take my 7 and subtract 3 from it. Well to do that I need to have not 3 but 3x. To subtract 7 from 11 I need to have not 7x but 7x squared. I need to multiply every term by x. Well that results in this in the generating function x times a, which is 3x plus 7x squared plus 11x cubed, and so on. Now what happens when I subtract? If I subtract the bottom line from the top line, oh, on the left hand side here I'm going to have 1 minus x, that quantity, times a. On the right hand side, I'll have, well, 3 minus 0 is 3. 7 minus 3x, that gives me a total of 4x. 11 minus 7, 11 times x squared minus 7 times x squared, that'll give me a total of 4x squared. Um, 11x, uh, 11x cubed taken away from 15x cubed, that gives me a total of 4x cubed. Because these differences are always going to be 4, I'm always going to have 4 times some power of x. And of course this keeps going on forever. Well, can I simplify this at all? The 3, not sure what I can do with that. But this 4x plus 4x squared plus 4x cubed on forever, I can simplify that. That looks very much like the generating function for the sequence 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. In fact, it's a generating series for the sequence 0, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. And I know that the generating function for that series, for that sequence is, well, let's see, um, constant means what, it's going to be something over 1 minus x. Um, to get the 4's I need to multiply by 4 and to have it shifted over so the first term is 4x and not just 4 I multiply also by x. So this whole this whole infinite polynomial here, the 4x, 4x squared plus 4x cubed, that can be simplified as 4x over 1 minus x. I also have my 3 added to that and that whole thing is this 1 minus x that quantity times a. I want to know what a is, so let's just solve for a. I do that, I get that a is equal to 3 over 1 minus x plus, I also have to multiply the 4x over 1 minus x times the 1 over 1 minus x, so that becomes 4x over 1 minus x times 1 minus x, so 1 minus x quantity squared. And there's the solution, there's my generating function for this sequence. Okay, here's another example. In this case, I want to find the generating function for 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 3, negative 3, and so on. Again, I don't know what this is, I'll just call it a, and I'll write down the generating series. That's 1 minus x plus 2x squared minus 2x cubed. The third term is negative 2. The fourth term is 3, so that would be plus 3x to the fourth minus 3x to the fifth, and so on, alternating signs, and I keep increasing the exponent on x. Now, to get differencing, I always do x times a, that shifts everything over, the 1 becomes an x, the negative x becomes 
a minus x squared. The 2x squared becomes a positive 2x cubed. The negative 2x cubed becomes a negative 2x to the fourth. We'll have plus 3x to the fifth. The minus will be the next one, and we'll keep on going in this pattern. Now, I want to take the difference again, so I'm going to subtract the bottom line from the top line on both sides. And when I do that, uh, again, I have 1 minus x, that quantity times a, that's always the same. And this will be equal to, well, let's see what we get. Uh, 1 minus 0 is 0. Negative x minus another x, that's minus 2x. 2x squared minus x squared. 2x squared minus a negative x squared is going to be plus, plus 3x squared. Negative 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, that's minus 4x cubed. 3x to the fourth minus a negative x to the fourth, that's going to be plus 5 x to the fourth, and the next one is going to be minus 6x to the fifth. So if we see what's going on here, my coefficients are 1, negative 2, 3, negative 4, 5, negative 6, and so on. All right, let's see if I can do something with this. Well, this sequence is just like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, only my signs are alternating. Um, this whole thing then must be 1 over 1 let's see, it would be 1 minus x quantity squared if it was just positives all the way through, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To make every other term negative, I need to replace x with negative x. So 1 minus a negative x becomes a plus x. So this whole infinite polynomial can be reduced to 1 over 1 plus x quantity squared. And this is what is equal to 1 minus x times a. So again, I just need to solve for a. a will be equal to 1 over 1 plus x quantity squared times 1 minus x. Just like that, and there's my generating function. All right, well, I hope this has helped. Thanks for watching.